Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS F16C Viper video, we'll explore the cruise page. Now, the cruise page is a handy page to hit your targets on time and most efficiently fly the aircraft regarding range, endurance, and getting home. Let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look at the cruise page, but I'm sure the first thing you're noticing is that we're not in Kansas anymore. In fact, we are here in South America in the foothills of the Andes Mountains. And this is going to be one of the new areas coming to the South Atlantic map that Razman's been working on. So let's zoom into the ICP. We'll go button five for cruise. That brings up a cruise up on the DED page. And we're gonna have different sub modes. The first is TOS. And that stands for time on station. Let's go ahead and enable that by hitting M select or the zero button on the ICP. Below that, we have our system time, which we cannot edit. We'll dauber down or DCS switch down. And that brings us to our desired time on station. And that's kind of the whole purpose of the sub mode in that what we can do is we can select a steer point indicated here in the top right corner and then manually input a desired time on station that we want to overfly that steer point. And what will happen is once we do that, it'll give us indications of what airspeed we need to be at to fly over the selected steer point at the desired time on station. Uh, below that we have non-editable uh, estimated time of arrival and then a required ground speed basically the speed we need to fly to uh, hit the steer point at the desired time on station but you can see it's a uh, ground speed up on the hud it's calibrated so we'll come down here to the hud control panel and go from calibrated to ground speed so right now our eta is 133440 let's change that a little bit say to 133440 134 40 and enter just a second difference but now we can see our required ground speed is 597 our HUD airspeed is 592 so we're a little bit fast it's also indicated by this carrot up here on the HUD so if the carrot is above the center line it means we're too slow if it's below the center line it means we're too fast so right now we're a little too slow, so we're gonna push the throttles up a little bit, bring that carrot down to center, and right about there or so. And sometimes it'll take just a little bit for the ETA to update. So this is a really handy mode to essentially uh, hit a target right on time and coordination uh, with other elements. To go to the next mode, we'll hit the uh, sequence switch to the right, or dauber right, and then we go to cruise range. Again, we'll enable it by hitting M select. We can select our steer point. We'll keep it at steer point one. And below that, we have our fuel. And that's basically an estimation of the remaining fuel once we reach the selected steer point. Also on the HUD, we have our carrot still. If the carrot is below the center point, it means that we're going too fast for optimal range. And conversely, if the carrot is above the center point, it means we're going too slow for optimal range. Let's sequence to the next, which is Cruise Endurance, or EDR. We'll enable it by going M Select. Again, we can select our steer point. Then we have our two bingo. And that just means that once we reach that selected steer point, uh, that's the time remaining until it estimates we'll hit bingo fuel. And then below that, we have our optimal mock. And this goes back to the carrot again. It's gonna to start to sound familiar. If the uh, carrot is below the center point, it means that we are going uh, too fast for optimal endurance or time of flight. Whereas if the carrot is above the center point, it means that we're too slow for optimal endurance. One more time on the sequence switch to the right and we go to cruise home. We'll enable it with M select. Again, we can select our steer point. We have our remaining fuel estimate when we reach that steer point and then we have our optimal altitude. We can also see that up here on the uh, HUD as well with this little carrot here. So if the carrot is above the center point on the altitude tape, it means that we're too low to uh, optimal to get home. Whereas if it's below the center point, it means that we're too high. Likewise, we still have the carrot on the airspeed tape uh, which, again, as always, if it is below the center point, it means we're too fast. 
if it is above the center point, it means that we are too slow. So folks, uh, that's a little explanation of the upcoming cruise page and a little sneak peek at this uh, new map that I hope you enjoy. I'll see you next time. Thanks.